out here looking for a good place to set up camp so we can uh, camp overnight out here between the creeks. Problem is we got them flowing in between. The other creek back there is backing up and we found where it's causing the backup. So I'm gonna clear some of the debris and branches out of the way in order to get the streams flowing a little better again and prevent it from going down the center so that way we can set up camp and not have to worry about getting wet or any of the flooding. One of the first problem areas that we come across here causing it to run down as you can see all the debris here and what's come across is preventing it from flowing properly so we're going to try to clear some of this out see how much water is being blocked here and it's cold can see here that's just a lot of buildup from leaves and the branches causing it to get like this so Alright, I'm gonna clear this one out a little bit more, but in the meantime, we're gonna go check out um, the other side. And that one's really bad stuff. So I'll see you in a minute. Alright, so as you can see on this side, this whole area over here is all dammed up. There's multiple runoffs here for creeks. Um, it's pretty full, it's a pretty deep pool there, but again, all the sticks and debris and this runs all the way to a river so um we got quite a ways to go so far out of water yeah that's a good swamp coming out I want to get as much debris as possible. As the leaves and stuff and the branches over time decay, it's all right. But fixing to come into rain and snow over the next couple months, and make sure it's all cleared out. So you see a good portion here. And you got this side. Not a whole lot you can do over here. It's tree roots blocking it. So you're here just from that side. It's already made a significant impact. something better than nothing so we're trying to do alleviate some of this and this is a constant running stream so I want to make sure it has all its exit points so it doesn't pool up and also aside from flooding on my side of things for camping we don't want any mosquitoes or anything else to be piling up Now. Let's go to the other side and see what we got. 
All right, we got another smaller one here. Uh, it's not a very big one, but it's gonna get big once we clear it all out. There's a lot of water being held back over here. All right, couple good scoops here and we'll get some real water flowing, but you'll see how big this little stream here gets from the runoff. Even that little bit there. You see, it's probably tripled in size. Anyway, just do that little bit for now. And uh, you know, we'll have to come back out a few more times and clean this out. But like I said, these little bits of improvement are significant as this is a big pool that typically not as much water here as there's been here's another really big one it's feeding into the same creek and this one's even worse than the other so it's probably about three foot high but we're gonna we're gonna change all that get some of this moving out of here Water flowing again.
All right, it's a little hard to see now. It's gotten dark, but boots, it's not very deep. However, we're back to where we originally started. And it is down significantly. It's no longer flowing across. So we should be good now to build our camp. Camp building will be coming up, so check out that video when it comes out. Thanks for watching.